How to make a do-it-yourself hydrometer. A hydrometer measures the density of a liquid. Lighter liquids will make the hydrometer sink and heavier liquids will make the hydrometer rise. A scientific hydrometer looks similar to a thermometer. However, it does not have internal liquids. Today, we will be making an at-home hydrometer to measure the densities of common household liquids. Some materials you will need, a plastic straw, a permanent marker, a pair of scissors, a lighter, measuring tape or a ruler, salt, a water glass, the thinner and taller the better, metal nails, and a candle. First, I'm going to light the candle to begin melting the wax. Many other videos on the web recommend using modeling clay to seal up one end of the straw, but I did not have any on hand and decided to go with wax as a sealant. Another great alternative is to use a hot glue gun to seal the end. Whatever you decide to use, make sure that you are able to seal one end of the plastic straw with a substance that will not dissolve in water and that will be leak proof. Next, I'm going to take this straw out of its wrapping and trim some of the end off. Whatever you decide to use, make sure that you are able to seal one end of the plastic straw with a substance that will not dissolve in water and that will be leak proof. Once the candle has been burning for a while and you can see that it's melted some of the wax, you can blow it out and dip one end of the straw into the melted wax. I like to do this several times, so there's multiple layers of wax at the end of the straw to completely seal it. Next, I'm going to take two metal nails and put them into the straw. The metal nails will help weigh down the bottom of the straw and keep your hydrometer in the water. Now we are ready to test our hydrometer. You can get a glass of tap water. The longer and skinnier, the better, so your hydrometer doesn't lean too much when you put it in the water. I'm lucky enough to have a mixing cylinder on hand, so I will be using that for today's demo. When you are ready to test out your hydrometer, insert the straw gently into the water with the sealed side down. The straw should not rest at the bottom of the glass. If it does, take out one nail and see if that allows the hydrometer to float. If it doesn't, Try testing the hydrometer in a taller glass. Once you have your hydrometer floating, take your permanent marker and your measuring tape. Measure the length of the straw that is above the water and record that number. Then, remove your hydrometer from the water. Measure out and mark the same length at the top of the straw. Try to be as accurate as possible. Then, place your hydrometer into the water again. The line should mark exactly where the water line is against the straw. Make sure you double check the water line at eye level for accuracy. The line you just marked is a baseline for water density. Next, try using your new hydrometer with salt water. The New York Harbor Estuary's salinity can range anywhere from 8 to 28 parts of salt per thousand parts of water. The salinity of the open ocean is 35 parts per thousand. For our purposes, I've prepared a 70 parts per thousand salt solution so that you can easily see the change in water density on camera. As you can see, our hydrometer is floating higher in the water than before. 
The water line of the salt solution does not meet the black line that we previously drew for regular tap water and shows that salt water is denser than fresh water. Try experimenting with different liquids you have in the house and compare their densities. Some easy experiments to do with common kitchen ingredients could be comparing the densities of cold and warm water, tap and sugar water, or even tap water and vegetable oil. You might be surprised at what you find. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to visit BOP's digital platform for more STEM education resources.